Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm collaborating with CyberMath for this interesting system of trigonometric equations, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is solved for x and y, where sine x times cosine y is equal to 1 over 4, and sine y times cosine x is equal to 3 over 4. So for main idea for this question is to use sum and difference formula. First, let's use difference formula. So I'll be subtracting this equation number 1 from equation number 2. So you're working on sine y cosine x minus sine x cosine y. Okay, this is going to be 2 over 4, that is 1 over 2. But then again, this is the difference formula. So that's why this left hand side is the same as sine of y minus x. And then let's draw this graph of the sine. Okay, this oscillating graph. And then we are looking for the value of 1 over 2. So that's why. So this is the value of 1 over 2. So for this question, we can find some specific values and generalize it. First of all, this is going to be now uh, pi over 6. And then that is now 5 pi over 6. Okay, then again, this is now going to be negative 7 pi over 6. And that point, it is now negative 11 pi over 6. Right. Okay, so that's why we can specify this y minus x. y minus x is those four specific values first, right? So we can choose negative 11 pi over 6 and negative 7 pi over 6. Then we have pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Okay, let's keep this for now because we'll generalize it at the end. And then let's talk about the sum formula. Now let's add these two. Sine x cosine y plus sine y cosine x. This is going to be equal to 1. And then this is the sum formula. So that's why the left hand side is the same as sine of x plus y. Then if you put this one on the graph, then it has to be this maximum point. So that's why we can specify that point as now just a pi over 2. So that is why we're looking for x plus y to be just equal to pi over 2, one specific value. Okay, now we can add x plus y and y minus x. So that's why x plus y plus now y minus x, which is going to be the same as 2y. This is now equal to negative 11 pi over 6, and then negative 7 pi over 6, then we have pi over 6. Okay, then we have 5 pi over 6. And then you're adding just a pi over 2 to it. Then we should have negative 4 pi over 3. And then we have negative 2 pi over 3. And then we have 2 pi over 3. And then we have 4 pi over 3. Those are just the two times of the y. So your y has to be just equal to, you can just divide all of those four numbers by two. Then your y is going to be the same as negative two pi over three, and then we have negative pi over three. Okay, then we have just a pi over three, and then we have two pi over three. Then at the same time, in order for us to get the value of the x, then your x is now pi over 2 minus y. And if you calculate this, then it has to be um, pi over 2 minus, um, we have now negative 2 pi over 3. And then we have negative pi over 3, and we have pi over 3. And then we have 2 pi over 3. 
that's why if you're making a calculation, then we should end up with uh, 7 pi over 6. Then we have 5 pi over 6. Then we have pi over 6. And the last one is now negative pi over 6. Okay, so based on these values, we can specify your x and y and generalize it. So x and y is, first of all, we have 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi, say, k. And then we have negative 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi, say, l. Okay, then the next one is now pi, 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, and then we have negative pi over 3 plus 2 pi l. Okay, then the third one is now pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. Then we have pi over 3 plus 2 pi l, and then the last one is now negative pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. And then 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi L. And then both K and L belong to an integer. Okay, so this is the final answer for this question.